area is unique, is chiseled out valleys from the time of the ice age. So you wind up with very deep water, sheltered by mountains behind, which is ideal for uh, suspended culture. My name is John Harrington. I'm the managing director of Corsi Farms. Um, we operate here in Kenmare Bay, where we produce about a thousand tons of rope mussels. This family-run company from Ireland's picturesque southwest is the country's leading producer of organic shellfish. But it started up as a pastime in the early 1980s, when two local teachers, John Harrington and his brother, tried a curious new project, mussel farming. Shellfish grow on ropes at a protected natural area in crystal clear waters rich in phytoplankton. Some people have the impression that, oh, if it's aquaculture, then it's not natural, and nothing can be further from the truth. Organic aquaculture uses no fertilizers or pesticides to grow the product. You don't add anything to the water, the phytoplankton is natural. Basically, because we have created a habitat for mussels, they are now eating phytoplankton that otherwise would be lost and would be useless. Under European directives, the water is tested every month, confirming its Class A purity. You can take the mussels directly from the water, bring them home, put them in a pot and boil them. You don't need to purify them or do anything else to them. They're a natural, clean product from clean waters. Workers suspend empty ropes underwater in June. 18 months later, the mussels are ready for harvesting. The company holds on to its roots. All the employees come from local villages. All we do is we just cut, cut it there, take the tail and bring it up the conveyor. And we throw off, we throw off as many weeds as we can. The farm produces waste by using recyclable ropes and other biodegradable materials. It also keeps its production volume sustainable. The food market is increasingly environmentally aware, and the organic certification is an important advantage. A kilo of mussels only produces 200 grams of carbon, compared to beef, which is 34 kilos, kgs of carbon. Millennials are looking very much towards low carbon food. I want to make a choice that helps the planet as well as helping my body. The company sells its mussels in France, Italy, Spain, the Netherlands and Germany. Among all European countries, Ireland is the leader in clean aquaculture, producing around 30,000 tonnes of organically certified fish and shellfish every year. The growth of this sector is supported by BIM, Ireland's Seafood Development Agency, that works directly with local businesses. It helps with innovation, certification and skills training using EU grant aid from the European Maritime and Fisheries Fund. You have this pristine environment where the product is grown, whether that is oysters, mussels or salmon. We don't just tell you that, we actually certify it. And I think the organic certification that we have for 100% of our organic salmon, uh, we have 70% of our mussels that are certified. And these are the primary things that we are a high value, low volume, niche product. And that when you taste Irish seafood, you're tasting something very different. Hungary, despite being a landlocked country, produces as much organic seafood as France or Denmark. Lelafrid, a famous tourist resort in pristine mountains of the country's northeast, is home to Hungary's oldest pond aquaculture facility, running since the 1930s. It's a trout breeding farm, managed by Jorgi Hoichi's family. I came here as a fishery engineer at the Lillifored trout plant in 1982, so I've been running this small facility for 38 years. First as a state employee, and then in 1991 we rented this farm and managed it independently ever since. At first, Georgi and his wife had to do all the work, but over the years, they hired more employees and increased the production 40 times, whilst making their business more sustainable. 
Currently, the plant produces 60 tons of fish, of which 60 to 65 percent are sold or processed here, 20 to 25 percent goes to other restaurants in the area, and 10 to 12 percent are released to restock fishing sites. To remain healthy and grow, trout need a continuous supply of clean, oxygen-rich water. With local carts springs increasingly drying out, this farm became one of the first in Hungary to build a recirculation system. It biologically purifies the water, enriching it with oxygen. This technology removes harmful waste products and uneaten feed, completely refreshing water in the ponds seven times a day. In drought years, unfortunately, the production was falling sharply. The springs couldn't provide enough water with sufficient oxygen for the fish. So we developed a recirculation system to secure and increase our production. Now the water that flows back to our fish is almost of drinking quality, so the natural flavour of the fish meat is maintained. It does not acquire the taste of the lake or the algae. Its sustainable and self-reliant approach allows the farm to run a complete cycle of operations. It breeds and sells trout of all development stages, starting from fish eggs. But its main product is market-sized trout, freshly caught, cold-smoked at the farm's own processing facility or cooked at its popular restaurant. Even during the Covid crisis, it kept working, offering deliveries and takeaway meals. There's not much of a difference between farmed fish and wild-caught fish in terms of taste. Farmed fish might be a bit fattier, but it's grown in a much safer environment, regularly checked, so there's no risk of some unexpected disease. And the guests trust us. They know that this fish farm has a long tradition, and they can be sure they're getting the best quality fish on their table. With public demand for fresh, healthy and tasty fish growing, the Hungarian farm considers further expanding its business. It estimates that thanks to the recirculation system, it can once again double its production while keeping it sustainable and clean. <laughs>